In our concrete mixed design lab, we work with three different types of concrete. Pervious, conventional, and self-consolidating. Concrete has four main ingredients. Water, sand, cement, and aggregate, or rocks. Design our mix, we started with the weight per cubic feet of our main ingredients. We use proportions of one part cement, two part sand, three part rocks, and half a part water. We divided 100% by 6.5 parts to find that each single part was 15.38% of the entire mix. We multiplied that percentage times each ingredient part to find the percentage of the mixture that each ingredient was. And since one cubic foot of concrete weighs 150 pounds, we multiplied each percentage of the mixture times 150 to find the weight of a cubic feet of that ingredient. Since one and a half inches is one eighth of 12 inches, our form is one eighth of a cubic foot. We multiplied the weight of the ingredients in a cubic foot by 0.125 to determine that our form would weigh 18.75 pounds. Our forms were 12 inches by 12 inches and had a depth of one and a half inches. In our previous concrete mixture, we replaced sand with gravel to create air pockets in the mixture that allow water to flow through. After combining our gravel, cement, and water, we were left with a pervious mixture that was tough to work with. For our conventional mix, we use the standard three parts rocks, two parts sand, one part cement, and half part water. The conventional concrete mix design produced a more workable mixture. The self-consolidating mixture was composed of Quick Creek countertop mix and water. The self-consolidating mixture was assembled in bulk using a Crete sheet and then distributed among the class. Self-consolidating means that the concrete will flow by itself, which it obviously did. Get a good feeling, yeah. Oh, I 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 get a good